All right, James Engelman here. Today we're gonna go over shooting off of a prone or bench position versus tripod. I'm gonna explain to you why we're even gonna talk about this. So first and foremost, uh, when shooting off of a bench, try to have parity with prone shooting. So what I mean by that is look how much I'm leaning into the gun, preloading it, bending that bipod forward. What I wanna do is get all my body mass forward so it acts like it does from the prone and this does when I shoot. The other thing is have a good rear support. I designed this bag. Um, it's got a nice back strap, and this is made by Armageddon, and it allows you to squeeze and hold so there's no dip in the back for vertical stringing. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is you just stand by real quick. I'm gonna check the wind. And so I've been up here for a few minutes. It's been fluctuating between a three and four mile an hour wind. Let me go in a SIG and set it real quick and boom, wind speed. I got it at a four, I'll make it a three. All right, so now I'm gonna range it. 1,002 yards, it says push left three minutes and dial 29 and a half, so. There's 29 and two clicks. All right, all right, so stand by and I'm gonna go ahead and put one down range. And it looks like somebody already shot one bullet. So I'm gonna push left, far left golf ball, push left three minutes. Literally about three quarters of an inch from the ball at 1.30. Again, look how much I lean into the gun and how much the gun doesn't move. And again, like that far from the last shot. So got a nice two shot group out there, about one inch from the ball-ish at 130. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this at what it's supposed to be, which is 29 and a half. We're gonna take it outside and go on a tripod and I'm gonna show you what's going on with the tripod. So stand by. All right, so let's talk a little bit about a tripod. Um, first of all, this is how most people shoot with the legs horizontal and the problem with that is if you lean back a little bit during the recoil it calls vertical high shots so let me show you that all right we're going to hold that same wind one more and i'm trying to hold the tripod steady guys like to lean into the tripod, I still like to hold my lever here on the lead up little ball head. doing this standing so you can see realistically muzzle flip or no muzzle flip so let's go back upstairs I'm gonna play the film back so I can see the muzzle flip so give me a second well as you can see the shots off of the bipod or the Atlas bipod were really good and then the shots off of the tripod standing again thousand yards a lot of movement standing, but you can see when I shot it with the legs horizontal towards me, 
that it had a little bit more flip and we hit about this high above the golf ball. And then when I shot it with the leg facing towards me, like I teach here, we had a little less flip. And you can see the elevation was almost on par with the bench. Now the left and right was stringing because I had no rear support standing. I was just kind of flapping in the wind, but that's not the point. The point is, what I like to teach here in our level two is when you shoot off of a tripod, which sometimes you have no choice, right? The sagebrush in Wyoming and Montana when you're hunting the Crow Indian Reservation, and we're running these two beds, by the way, tripods. Um, the sagebrush is higher than the bipod legs, so you just can't get a shot or you're hunting over in South Africa. So what I like about shooting off of a tripod is it gives me the ability to stand up, kneel, seat, sit down, whatever you need to do, seated tripod. But the other thing is what most people don't understand when you shoot off a tripod, in general, between 600 and 900 yards, you're gonna hit a quarter minute higher. So I like to go to my turret, and let's say that I was shooting, again, I'm gonna dial it for a thousand yards. Well, we just said between six and eight. So let's go to, there we go. It's about a 600 yard shot. So what I like to do is if I'm shooting between 600 and a thousand, I'll come down a quarter minute and that's gonna compensate for shooting off of a tripod. If I'm shooting at a thousand plus, I'm gonna come down a half a minute. Now again, I teach that in my level two. It's something that a lot of folks don't know about. So make it very simple. If you're shooting at 600 to 900 and you're shooting off a tripod and you're kneeling, standing, even seated, bring it down a quarter. And if you're shooting uh, at a thousand yards and out, I'm gonna come down a full half a minute and that's gonna help compensate for that muzzle flip. That's a really good tip. I normally don't give that away, but you guys need to know this, especially if you're gonna be on hunts because hunts are coming up. So anyway, uh, to learn more of this kind of thing, come on to our level two at Barber Creek and come see me, James Eagleman, and I hope you guys enjoyed it and you have a great day. Hey everybody, Keith Warren here for Barber Creek, America's premier long range hunting and shooting school. Barber Creek is one of America's top long range instructors and life-size animal targets out to a thousand yards. Enjoy a climate controlled classroom and shoot house, luxurious lodging and four course meals as you train with fellow outdoorsmen. Our level two master course puts you in real hunting positions off a tripod, bipod and backpacks with 25 life-size animal targets from 340 yards out to 1,670 yards on six stations. You'll become confident shooting at angles, reading wind and terrain, and shooting across valleys. When that once in a lifetime shot only comes once, you can't afford to miss. Contact Barber Creek at 334-845-0000.